Another interesting find when it comes to the flat earth here in Sydney, Australia. Taking a look at the harbor. First off, before pointing that out, you see the Sydney Opera House, world famous. And you see Goat Island. I find that pretty interesting. A reference to Freemasonry and Balfamet. Now taking a look here at Darling Park. Let me get a little bit of a close-up. Zoom in here in these three buildings. Zoom in here. And they basically look almost like an uncapped pyramid. Very unusual architecture. Now look at what you see here. Let me get a little bit of a close-up and see what we find. Very interesting design and concept here in Sydney, Australia. Let's get a little bit of a close-up. And what do you see? The flat earth model. Another close-up here. And you see an obelisk as well. Now, taking a look at this logo for Darling Park, I find it pretty interesting as well. You have the pyramid symbolism. It looks like a peacock. You have these three, basically on each side, three and three, 33. find that very interesting. Everything, there's a reason. Again, they don't pull things out of thin air when they come up with these concepts, with these designs. Now, taking a look at one of the buildings in this complex, Darling Park here kind of obscured here, but also the flat earth map. And I find it pretty interesting where they situate it. People are passing by, coming down, passing by the world they live on, and they don't realize what's right in front of them. That is the flat earth model. This is a flat earth clock, probably the largest one in the world. Taking a look here at this little bit of a side angle here. And also, let's take a look at this short video very brief, but you get a general idea of what you see here at Darling Park. You see the flat earth model and again the obelisk itself right in the center, all about the occult. Now, one thing I need to point out, as many people know, the flat earth model and the UN logo. Now, the connection with Sydney I'll get into right now, which I find pretty interesting. First up, before we even get into that, one thing that needs to be shown is there just so happens to be 33 segments in the UN logo. Now, looking at Sydney itself, it just so happens to be on the 33rd parallel on the south. So you see the connection with the UN, Freemasonry, and the 33, always with the occult. People can't see that we live on a flat earth with all the videos I have made and many others, those that own and control this world, these Freemasons, and the number 33, as always in plain sight, this is what they're all about. Everything has always been hidden in plain sight as a form of mockery, specifically with the Flat Earth. 